if you could think of storage going from tightly coupled to loosely coupled. Tightly coupled means, again, there's an SSD on the other end of a PCIe bus from the processor. Loosely coupled is S3. May I can make HTTP calls to essentially an infinite sump of storage out there. Now, that infinite sump of storage is going to be a lot cheaper than my SSD. It's also going to be orders of magnitude slower. So I've got I've got a cost performance trade-off here on this storage spectrum. On the other axis, there's a question about how persistent my compute is. Think about a legacy data warehouse. It's a relational database. I had an ETL job that I hand-coded in C because I hate life. It runs overnight and it writes all this data into my star schema in Oracle because again, self-harm, you know, I need to get some help. It's in this Oracle database on a database server and that's where the queries run. The storage is tightly coupled and the compute is always there. On the other end of the spectrum, let me take Spark because you've got worker nodes out there, but they're not doing anything until the job starts. And then the job is divvied up into tasks and those are distributed. So in a sense, I'm not really doing any compute until I've got a job. So it's kind of this instant on or standby compute resource. That's this horizontal axis is whether my compute is dispatchable or permanently allocated. And then I've got this other one that's tightly coupled and loosely coupled storage. The modern data systems just live in different places on this quadrant. I think it's an interesting way to, to divide up the space. All analytic systems, like forget about any OLTP database. You can put all the analytic systems on that board somewhere.